Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, I'm just going to demonstrate using uh, Kali Autopilot to generate um, um, some testing scripts. So what I've done is I've um, downloaded uh, from Git repository um, some sample scripts, in, but this one in particular, which is for the um, damn vulnerable web application. And um, just to have a look at that, but um, I'll just show you what... Um, if I wanted to um, grab another one of the downloaded scripts, then I could go to import and um, go and find the location where they're stored. So if I go home, I think they're stored in autopilot, purple hub, and there's some for juice shop as well. So if I go into juice shop, then I can um, just uh, select this uh, JSON file, juice shop Carly autopilot .json, and open that up and that will bring that in as um as juice shop i'll do that um import yes so you can see here this is the um this is the juice shop um scripted attack sequence here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a fairly simple one and i've got a simple one here that i've already created called testo one and uh, testo one just defines a subnet variable here, so you've got subnet, and it just does a basic um, nmap scan on that particular subnet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this into a new one. So I'll make this one testo3, and uh, I'll just go copy. And you can see here testo3 contains the same content as testo1. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another, another action here, and it'll be an OS action operating system command and uh, still in stage one so the first stage and I'm just going to run another nmap command and um, I'm going to make this let's copy this one here and I'll paste that in here and I'm going to um, do an nmap with some more some more options but I'm going to do it to this kpip which is curly purple ip so I'm going to define my variable kp underscore ip here as um, 192.168.100.200. And um, what this will do is that variable will then be substituted into this OS command, and that OS command will be run in the um, in the script. So once I've once I'm happy with my script, I'm going to save it and I'm going to generate, and what generate will do is it will generate Python code to um, to execute um, whatever whatever actions I've got whatever commands I've got in the um, in the scripted attack sequence. So I'll hit generate and you can see here, this is where it's being generated. It's testo3.py in the folder testo3 under Kali Autopilot. So I'll hit OK to that. So let's just grab a, um, a command prompt um, here. And I'm gonna go and um, have a look at that file so before I run it, so let's just do a um, nano and uh, it'll be, um, where is it? Um, let's, let's just have a look and see where it is. And it's testo3. Testo3. And testo3.py. So you can see there's a whole bunch of imports here. Um, so this is the Python code that's generated by the um, by the scripted attack sequence. You can see there's a whole bunch of imports here. Now you may not have all of these libraries installed. Um, I needed to uh, do pip install for para paramico and pexpect, and um, but the rest of the libraries were available. But uh, generally speaking, you can see a couple of things to see. We've got this mutex file, mutex.txt, and we need to um, advance the script from one stage to the next using the um, the mutex. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But we're, by default, we've got user, user offsec, password offsec, and you'll see in the API port is port 443. So this, how we control the stages of the, of the, um, the sequence is by um, using this API and advancing the mutex to the by, to the particular stage that we want to execute. Um, so if we scroll down, have a look, 
you can see here, this is the um, the main routines. We won't dig into this code in too much detail, but um, you can see here there's um, some of the things that we'll find something that makes is relevant to our to our script. So you can hear here pexpec.spawn. So it's in spawning a bash a bash shell. So that's what pexpec does. And um, down here we've got our our, our lab address. So we're interface is Ethernet zero, and you can change obviously the interface settings over here. And the API port is 443. Um, and then we've got the para, Paramico SSH routines. So going down through here, this is our mutex functions, which is what we're using for advancing our script. And um, and you can see here, stack is running stage, and it'll tell you what stage it's running, and it'll allow you to advance the um, the mutex stage from one to the next to the next. And um, here we've got our um, our socket listening, so it's listening for that. So down down here's our attack script. So this is the part that's relevant to us. So you can see our subnet is 192.168.100.0, and our KPIP that we've defined here is 192.168.100.200. We've got some delays in there. Delays, delay settings, and um, basically what this will do is it'll um, look at the stages, and if stage one is scanning, so you've got stage one is scanning, and then it'll call the nmap on the subnet, um, and then finally, then when it gets to the next stage, it'll go to nmap.ps minus f sv kpip, which you can see here. So that's our Kali Purple IP address, 192.168.100.200, which we're going to scan. And um, then we've got the, um, the, um, the finishing of the attack, the attack termination. So that's basically the script that's been, um, I'll just control X out of that because I'm not going to change it. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, going to run the script now that it's been generated. So I can do that just by... Um, executing the script, get rid of nano in the front. That's where it's located. So I'll hit enter and the script starts running. So you can see here it's running it's running the mutex um, server on port, I'll call it the mutex server on port 443. So what I need to do is to advance the mutex to stage one to start scanning. So I'll go into um, I'll go into um, my browser. Oops, wrong browser. Just need to move my browser a bit so I can get to it. Oh, let's 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 go by default. Let's go http colon slash slash one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one hundred dot two hundred on port four four three. And um, we'll go there. And our login is offsec and our password is offsec. So we sign in. And this is our mutex interface. And it gives you some example usage. So we can set the mutex to where we want to go. So let's let's um let's set the mutex to one. So set question mark mutex equals one. And um that will advance that will advance my um my attack. So if I put this over here and um, put this over here, you'll see that when I execute this, um, it goes stage one of one. So now it's starting to run my nmap command. So this is my first nmap command in stage one. So you can see here in stage one, this is my first nmap command, where it's doing minus sn 192.168.100.0 slash 24 which is the um, the subnet. And so it's scanning the subnet. And um, it's, it's, it's completed scanning the subnet and it's discovered one host, which is my uh, Kali purple host on 100.200. And my next scan is scanning this one, the KPIP, which is 100.200. And you can see here, here's, it's running the next Nmap scan, running the command here, Nmap 100.200. And it'll run this scan and um, it'll take a little while to get some output from this. Take a little longer this scan, and then that'll that'll complete the um, the um, the test. 
Okay, so the test is completed. So let's have a look and see what we got from that. So you can see here we've got a couple of ports open. We've got port 22 SSH. Uh, we've got port 443, uh, 3389 XRDP, uh, 9001 and 9200, which is uh, Elastic and Cabana. And um, this one, which it's not really sure about, which is um, I think 9200, which is our Cabana port, giving some information back. Okay, so service info, so it's detected it's operating system Linux and it's running Linux kernel for this particular service. Okay, so um, I hope that was helpful. Thanks very much for watching.